Joe, <laughs> congratulations. A seesaw game, but you've come through it. Just start the emotions for us right now. Yeah, it's a bit, it's, it's a bit of an odd one, to be honest. I've, um, I felt like I was a better player the whole way through, but I thought every chance that I probably gave Daryl, he, he, he took, and I just thought, you know, at the end of the match, don't don't have any regrets and don't 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 think that I've gave the game away. Um, but yeah, I think there was a point in the fourth set. I think I think it was to go one apiece. I think if uh, correct me if I'm wrong, um, and he missed. I think he missed three clear, and then I went on from there. And yeah, I th it, it was it was a really really strange game. You know, I was expecting I was expecting Daryl to get off really well because I think that's what. Um, Put him in good stead against Michael the other night, and he, he struggled. You know, I, if I'm honest, I was surprised because Daryl's a, a big uh, double 18 hitter, um, and he was missing double 16 a lot. And I, I was surprised that he persisted with it. To be honest, we've seen you have amazingly eye-catchy games on in big TV games, but is it nice to, to scrap to a victory like this, in, just to get that confidence back up, and you can different parts of your game and I working other than the eye-catchy stuff? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, honest, if I'm perfectly honest, you, you've hit the nail on the head there, uh, Phil. I think I, I would have preferred that rather than look at a million dollars because like, I've been working on a few things and um, you, you don't know until you're under it whether it actually will will play out like you expect it to. Um, so yeah, it, it did tonight. You know, I, I, I thought I, I thought I played well at the right times. You know, <laughs> at the risk of sounding like <laughs> at the risk of sounding like Van Gogh. You know, I've. I had the right figures at the right times, uh, but yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, I'm I'm over the moon to get a win. What is it about this tournament that seems to bring the best out of you? Semi final last year, and then coming here in no form, as you said, and now in a quarter final. What is it about this format that seems to bring the best out of you? Uh, not necessarily the format. I, I think I find my best stuff on TV. You know, it's gone full circle in, in my career. You know, I've been been playing a long time now, so you know, it's been at stages in my early career where I played my best stuff on the floor, and then maybe. I let myself down on TV, and I, th I think it's it's gone full circle. It's the opposite way around now. Um, you know, I've come into this with no form, but you know, I've I've put things in place, and I'm, I'm confident. I, f I feel like I feel like no one can beat me. You know, I might, I might look silly this tomorrow, uh, and Dimitri or Dave will be sat here where I am. But I, I, I the way I feel in myself, I, I feel like I feel like no one can beat me. Joe, many congratulations. Nice one, Joe, we saw a big reaction from you at the end of the second set when you hit that double three. How important a moment was that in the context? Yeah, it was game? massive, I think. Um, regardless of how you're playing and how you're feeling, I think if you go 2 0 down in a race of three, it's, it's a long way back. Um, so, yeah, that, that's why I obviously didn't, didn't expect it. I, I, I love double six and I expected to hit it first or second dart. And when it went inside and um, obviously, the double three. That, that's that's why the reaction was there. It was more more relief than actual um, uh, celebration. Do you feel like the things that you've been working on recently are really starting to come into fruition already? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I think um, you know it's it's the old one that a lot of the darts is is in your mind. You know, everyone's got the ability. You know, it's how much you want to nurture it and how much you want to how much work you want to put in. But I think I've got more ability than most. Um, but I've, I've I've not really put the work in. If I'm if I'm perfectly honest. So I've been, I've been putting the work in and I've been trying to do different things because, you know, you, you get players that go, oh, this is what I've always done. And you're like, well, you, you're number 73 in the world. You know, not what you've always done, but if you want to progress, you need to maybe change. And I think a lot of people have uh, a little bit afraid of change. So, you know, I've tried to put things into place and try to change certain things just to try to better myself. You seem ultra relaxed even more so than normal and look like you're enjoying it up there. Is, is a relaxed Joe Cullen a dangerous Joe Cullen this week? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, I won't, um, won't talk about myself in a third person like some people do. Um, but yeah, yeah. Honestly, I, f I feel good this week. You know, if, but but I think the the best thing is I, I know it like, may sound trivial to you guys who don't follow rugby league. I, I'm thinking to myself, if I lose, I can go to the grand final. If I don't, then then great stuff. I've earned a few quid, and I'm still in the grand prix. Okay. Cheers, Joe. Nice one, cheers. Joe, you talked um, the other day about the, the changes you're making sort of off the ball to try and enjoy and try and grasp sort of your time in darts a little bit more. Do you think that adds pressure or takes some pressure away in those sort of moments? No, I think it takes pressure away. I think, yeah, I, th I think in, in other sports, like certain aspects are just the norm, whereas darts it's not. Mm. Um, so yeah, I've, tr I've tried to maybe go a little bit out of my comfort zone and, and do different things that I, I, I don't think many dart players are doing um, but yeah and I think if, if it, 
I've got the mindset, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. No problem, I've tried it, it didn't work, no problem, we'll move on. But I think, I think it's working at the minute. You know, it might not always be like this, but I think particularly the way I've been playing this year, to come to a TV event and, you know, I, don't, I know I didn't play great tonight, but I showed, I, in my eyes, I showed some, some grit and some bottle. So, you know, that's, that's sometimes a lot more pleasing than, you know, the glitz and glamour stuff. Do you think it could become the norm down the line that players are turning to different sort of techniques and different ways to try and? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's one of those. It's you know, if you Tiger Woods, he's he's got a coach. Yeah. His coach isn't better than him at golf, mm. but he can see certain things that I'm, I've, I've not got a coach, by the way. If that's, yeah. if that's how you're going, but no, it's it's one of those. It's like I say, Tiger Woods is probably one of the greatest golfers ever, and. He's got a coach who's telling him where this and this is going wrong, and this guy can't play golf. He's not to Tiger Woods' standard, so it's about sort of not necessarily swallowing your pride, and you know, it's about accepting help. Sometimes you know, certain people can see different things, so that's that's the way I've looked at it. And like I say, I'm not I'm not going to get carried away. You know, I've, I've had a couple of good games, and I'm not going to carry it away. But it seems to be working at the minute. Cheers, Jack. Cheers. Joe, just on those changes, we've seen other people like Stephen Bunton, Dimitri Vandenberg look outside of darts to try and improve their game. Have you looked at other players and decided that that, that, that could also help you? Or is it just... No, no, if, if I'm honest, I've looked at other sports. Um, darts is, is, is one of those things where it doesn't even get passed off as a sport sometimes. But, you know, if you look at, like, as I just said there in the previous interview there, if you look at top-end sports, you know, Tiger was Roger Federer, some guy's telling him not going to sound much to swing a racket. <laughs> But Roger Federer's one of the best ever. So there's, there's there's elements that certain people can see that you don't, that you might not see yourself. So I think if you're ignorant to the fact that you can't sort of accept help sometimes when certain people can see different things, then then I think that it, it'd be to, to your detriment in the end. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, I've looked elsewhere. And why is it now that you've decided to look elsewhere? Is it just the form? Why not two, three, four, five years ago? No, because I've been playing <laughs> That's why I've been playing absolutely <laughs> Um yeah, that's that, that's why. To be honest, um, I've had dips in form before in the past, um, but it's, it's lasted sort of a few weeks. This this one's sort of, you know, carrying itself on. So you know, I've had, I've had things going away from darts, but so have other players. So I'm not I'm not going to sort of heap everything on that and look for that as an excuse. So yeah, but I've been been rubbish shot rubbish most of the year. You know, I've had a couple of good results here and there, but you know, it's not it's not it's not what I am. You know, I've, I've I've set myself high standards, particularly over the last four or five years, and I've I've, I've dipped from them standards, so I want, I want to get back to where I think I belong. And in the past, you've won the Masters, been in a Premier League final. With everything that you have been through, how special would a real deep run here mean to you? No, I, don't. I'm, I, I want to win it. I want to win it, if I'm honest. Um, you know, I, I came here thinking, if I'm honest, get over the first game, because Chris is a tough, tough draw. And then I think my mindset changes then from get over the first game to go and win it. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not happy with the with the quarterfinals. Um, I, I, I think I think I'm I, I, I think I've got the ability to win it. I think I don't think there's anyone in the in the tournament left in that is miles above me. Um, specifically with the with the double start, I think it's a massive level, and I think that I've got I've got off really really well in in most of my games. So I think. I don't think anyone's, you know, streets ahead of me. I think I think I've got the ability to win it. Joe, huge well done. Thank you. Nice one, thank you.